the first thing we're gonna do is soak the peas overnight now this makes it a lot easier to boil and it boils a lot faster you can skip this step but it will take you a lot longer to boil the dal. The next step would be to cook the split peas with fresh water until it's tender and it's easy to blend together. Now that the peas are tender and they've broken down a little bit, we are going to blend it until it's smooth. Now we can do this several ways. We can use a whisk, a swizzle stick or dal gutney, or we can let it cool slightly and then pour it into a blender. I ended up having to blend it because it just wasn't getting smooth enough. Now I'm going to thin this out a bit by adding a little bit of water. Once the dal cools, it will thicken. We're going to add our spices and we're going to bring this to a boil. Now you can either add the spices now or in the beginning with the split peas. Either way is fine. We're going to add curry powder, cumin, pepper and salt. Next I'm going to add a chicken bouillon. Now this is completely optional but it gives it great flavor. If you would like to keep it vegan or vegetarian, eliminate the chicken bouillon cube. Now the final step which you should not skip at all would be to cook garlic in hot oil. Now you want the garlic to brown almost just before it's about to burn and then you're going to pour this into the dal. To be honest with you, without this step it does not taste like dal, it just tastes like split pea soup. Thank you for watching and please be sure to subscribe and to give me a thumbs up. As always, the link to the recipe with all measurements and directions is in the description box below.